All right. Hi, beautiful friends. I'm excited to have this model, Zena. She's so beautiful back in the studio today. Welcome back. It has been a crazy summer and I apologize. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I made a goal for summer to make lots of videos, to edit more so that I can get better, so I can um, give you guys better quality videos and also just help myself improve. It's always good to set goals for yourself and then crush them. So if you have been following my YouTube channel, you know I've been trying to post quickie videos, but I haven't had tons of time to do long videos. Uh, so this video is, um, this tutorial is going to be all about the princess design. So no matter what planet, no matter what country, no matter what day of the week I am painting, um, it turns out that the princess, the butterfly, the tigers, the kitties, those are the most popular, most requested designs. So I wanted to show you guys some simple princess techniques that can help you kind of give your uh, princess game a little boost and hopefully you enjoy them, challenge yourself to try some of these products. And as always, thank you for joining me. I am going to be heading on the road soon. So I am heading to uh, Capital Convention in Scottsdale, Arizona, August 5th through the 8th. Then after that, I head to Austin, Texas for Ace Convention. After that, I am heading to, I believe, St. Louis Convention, uh, St. Louis for the Face Painting and Body Art Convention, and then back to Mexico. So I am going to be heading to all those conventions, so make sure you keep up with me on Facebook so you know where I'll be next. All right, guys, let's get started. As always, I like to start off all my princess designs with cheek color. So I like to mix a little bit of gold and you can use um, neon pink or you can use like a bubblegum pink from Fab. So I like that for cheek color. So I just take a damp sponge and I mix both gold and pink. And then I test it on my wrist to make sure that it's kind of the pinkish color I want. Smile. Okay, so tell them to smile and then you just follow the cheeks up. Smile. You can also, depending on the colors you're gonna use for your design, use a little bit over the eye. So close your eyes. It's a nice soft color. So most princess designs, you can tell they're a princess because they have a crown. So let's start off from easiest to hardest. So one of the easiest ways to create a princess design is using a stencil, okay? So this is a pink power stencil. It's a heart with a crown. So one of the easiest ways to use it is by using it with a rainbow cake. So start off by loading your sponge with your rainbow cake. Like okay, now with your stencil, you just place it in the middle because that's going to be the centerpiece for this design, just like that. And I take my sponge and I'm just going to go right across. So then I'm just going to press it across just like this, okay? Make sure that you go in one motion, not up and down. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter on the stencil to the paint before I remove it. That way it's nice and covered with glitter. So to make the crown, I like to use a split cake and a flat brush. It's a very simple, fast way. So all you're gonna do is just load your brush. So I like start that. off by making kind of like thicker teardrops heading up. So I do that by just laying my brush flat and twisting to a thin tip. So press, and I finish off in the corner of the forehead. And I repeat that on this side. That. Now, I like to add the same color on the crown, a little bit on the eyes. So in the corner, I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit of a twist and come up in almost like a half circle. And then in the corners of the eyes here, the same thing, half circle, half circle. That way you don't have to cover the whole entire eye and you have a lot of pretty color. Then what I'm gonna do in the corners of the eyes is just match the crown, okay? So start off on a straight line, press, wiggle, press, wiggle, and at the tip, just kinda twist it so that you end up again on a straight line. Now I pick up one of my favorite brushes. This is the Flower Power brush. It is a flower petal brush by Silly Farm. It's great for double loaded flowers. Great to embellish all of your princess designs. And pretty much anytime you wanna make flowers. Do you like flowers? Okay, also great for making fat teardrops. Okay, so and just cover all of the bristles with paint. And then take your second color and just dip the tip. 
smaller, larger, they get smaller around the eyes. Okay, see how fast that was? Okay, now to make the crown and to match and bring this all together. I'll start here. Now with my round brush, this is a Lux Swirl number four, and it's great for making teardrops because all I'm gonna do is just add a few more uh, little details. Okay, so once you have your brush loaded, now you can just make some swirls and curls right inside of your crown, okay? I'm just gonna add a little bit more of these swirls to the sides as well. So as you can see, I like to just combine the different swirls. Uh, they make the design look really uh, soft and elegant and delicate, and that's a great way to challenge yourself to do different designs. Okay, so now to finish off this design, close your eyes. So I just made some little dots right in the corner of the eyes and a few underneath there, and then I'll add a few more. As always, I like to start my designs, my princess designs, with a little bit of color on the cheek. For this design, I'm gonna use a rainbow cape for um, the background. So just taking my summer sorbet and a sponge, I'm gonna load it up. So just start in the corner of the eye, and then I like to go down. Don't worry if you get a little underneath it. And then the same thing here. I like to just add the color going down. And as you get closer to the bottom of the eye, I just use the edge of the sponge. So using a baby wipe, I just remove any extra that I had. I like to just kind of go back in and create kind of like a half circle here over the forehead just like that. So I have nice, beautiful, bold color. For this one, I'm going to use the star stencil so she can be a star princess. You wanna be a star princess? So I just got my, I just loaded my sponge up with white paint. You wanna make sure that it's not too wet. Uh, make sure it's a little bit more on the dry side. Then I take my O stencil. This is the Star Flip O stencil. I love this stencil. Fabulous for princess designs. Fabulous for everything, for every embellishment. Okay, so I start off right here in the middle with the stars. Before you move the stencil, I like to uh, just put a little bit of glitter. So that when I lift it off, look, you get that beautiful sparkle. Then, since it's nice and round, look, it's doing the majority of the work for you. So turn a little bit this way. So I'm just going to hold it still. Then I just go on the sides, look, right there. And then you twist it for this side. So look at how fast and easy that is. Now all I have to do is just add line work or details. And this part is optional. You can just keep on adding stars, that's okay. But I like to challenge myself and always do line work. So now I'm gonna pick up my brush and a little bit of white paint. So we're gonna start off again with groups of three teardrops. That helps you keep the pattern. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Okay, and if you feel that you need more, then you go from three to two. So I have three, now I'm gonna go one, two. So you wanna keep it with odd numbers. So now I have five right here. So I'm gonna start off with three, and if I need to add more, I will. So again, one, two. Same thing here. Now watch what I'm gonna do here. This is kind of a teardrop with a swirl. Marcella Bustamante taught me this. Um, I love her, I love her line work. I watch all her classes on Faba TV. So what it is, is it's a teardrop, and at the end of the teardrop, I make a kind of like a swirl. 
and you have a choice. You, you can, can come back around. Um, you can make it more swirly. That part is up to you. But I love this just like that. Okay. Right here, just to fill in this space as well. So I'm going to do teardrop and then swirl. So I did one, two, three on each side, and now I'm just going to start in the middle, just like this, with the largest dot, and go smaller to connect on both. Okay? And if I have those dots there, I want to bring them into the rest of the design. So I'm going to bring them down here as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the, uh, the glitter. All I did was just pick up a little bit on my finger. And then I'll have her close her eyes. And in this area, right over the blue, because I want it to pop. And then all around the edges. She already has lipstick on, so it worked out really good. So you see how fast and easy a design like this can be, even in just white. Just like with the other princess design, I always like to start off with a little bit of color on the cheeks, which is a little bit of mixture of gold and pink. So with arty cakes, they really helped make flowers faster, princess crowns faster. Now you're going to see what I mean. Um, so I love using them to make my princess crowns because you get beautifully blended strokes very, very, very quickly. So if you don't love using stencils for centerpieces, you can definitely use your arty cakes. So load up your arty cake, your rainbow cake. In the middle, I'm going to start off with uh, the flower. So I'm going to make these rose petals and try not to make the rose too, too big. Okay, so first layer done, I'll make it over here too. Uh, let it dry before you make the second layer, okay? So while that's drying, while the petals are drying, I like to use a rainbow cake to add a little bit of fun color to the eyes. This is from the new Vanessa Mendoza collection, and this is called, I believe, Neon Dream, and it's just nice and bright. It's a pretty color. So close your eyes. So just using another bright uh, arty cake or rainbow cake to complement this design, um, you want to pick it up on your brush. Load. Then for the first crown, we went up. For the second crown, we're gonna connect this way, okay? So I'm just going to start off on a slant and connect it to the edge. So do the same thing on this side. Start on the point press and lift up. That way you're gonna get a different shape to this princess crown. Let that dry as well. We can start off with the second layer of petals for your roses. If you notice, I switched over to a smaller brush for the smaller petals. So I'll start off with the little rosebud in the middle, and then I like to make the outer petals, just like that. Then I do the same thing here, okay, and here, just like that. Nobody is checking to see if your roses are perfect or not. Now with my favorite arty cake. This one is from the Suzy collection, Suzy Amaro, another one of my great friends. This one has um, the greens in it. It's called Turtle Green, great for making leaves. On the sides, I'm gonna make just a few leaves to match this, obviously. Okay, just like that. You Stencils see? are always going to be your best friend. I promise you guys. This one is from the Diva Collection. It's called the Henna Bit Stencil. I love this stencil for accents, especially on a design like so this. Load up your sponge with white paint or whatever color you want. So this Just one has this little, uh, this little pattern right here. So I'm going to use it just right next to my flowers. Okay, 
just like that. So with your paint pal brush or any brush, your favorite round brush, I'm just going to add a few more little details, teardrops inside of the crown area. So then all I'm gonna do is just create longer teardrops uh, right inside of the crown area. So um, I'm gonna start at the edge and bring it in. Here, press, twist, press, twist. Just like that. So I like to just add a few dots to fill in some of the empty spaces right inside of there, along the edges of my flowers, and here as well. So just now just a little bit of lipstick. To finish off, I'm gonna use some pixie paint around the design. Remember, I, this pixie paint has gel in it, so you cannot put it on top of your face paint. You can only put it around. It's a mix of chunky and, and fine glitter, and it's a gel, so it stays a long time, but if you put it on top of your face paint, all it's gonna do is smudge it. So, I like to apply it with a uh, brush as well, and I'm just gonna put it kind of in the extra space. Now, if you want some extra sparkle, you can always use a little bit of a Mama Clown glitter on top because it'll stick to the gel. See, here is a rose princess. You can change uh, this centerpiece for hearts, for butterflies, for anything, but this is a different crown effect as well. So instead of going up, you went around. And this might be easier for some of you guys. All right. So as always, I like to start off with uh, the pink for the cheeks pink and gold mixed. So I like to use the new uh, Fairy Kiss by Fab. It's like a mixture of pink and purple with shimmer inside. It's a good color for eyeshadow, so close your eyes. So then I put a little bit in the middle as well. So now using Arty Cakes has really changed the way that we make princess crowns. You can make a million billion varieties of princess crowns using Arty Cakes. So that's why what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this Arty Cake. It is for, called Garden Princess by Vanessa Mendoza, another beautiful cake that um, I'm excited to show you guys. So I'll start off in the middle with uh, kind of like a petal shape, just like that. And then I'll make the uh, petals on the side of it. So I like to combine bo using both sides of my arty cakes, because if you notice, one side has dark colors and one side has light colors. So I like to get maximum usage out of both. So I make some petals that are bigger, some petals that are smaller. I'll go in the middle of uh, my centerpiece and make smaller strokes. So I start off on the tip, I'm gonna come up and around and connect at the corner of the eye. And then you wanna combine these shapes at the corner of the eye to bring the princess crown together. So notice I flip the brush around so that I can have a combination of um, the lighter and the darker sides for uh, this design. So now I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white paint on my brush. Again, the Paint Pal number no. 4 Swirl. It's a really great brush to do all of your line work. And we're going to do all of the teardrops, okay? Oops. I like to do my teardrops in groups of three. So we'll start in the middle and we'll work out. The same thing for your dot pattern. So there's some space here and there's some space there. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so you see how fast you can get a princess crown like that done. It looks really good even with just white. You have all the option in the world to go in, add details, add more uh, outline and such, but you don't need to because this works really well. So This is the new American Body Art gels. I love these. Uh, you can put them over the paint directly on the skin. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my finger. Okay, close your eyes. 
So I just go ahead, kind of accent uh, anywhere that I have some extra space. And like I said, you can go over the crown and such. And you see how beautiful. So a little bit of color for the lips. Okay guys, so thank you for joining me on this new video. I really have been trying to get more videos done faster, uh, but there's just not enough time in the day. So thank you. I hope that you uh, found some inspiration or some ideas from this uh, princess video. I think that the princess design is one of the most fun because you can get the most creative. There's no rules when it comes to face painting, especially with a design like the princess design. So thank you, Valentina. You're and welcome. thank you to the rest of my models. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope I get to see you on the road remember i'm going to be in st louis in austin in scottsdale in mexico city um it's going to be a busy year so i hope that i can see you guys at an event soon and thank you as always for the support for the love thank you for watching faba tv for uh, shopping at silly farm and join me on facebook join me on our faba tv lives there's so much going on and we need to stay connected so thanks guys and happy painting